Police raids on the ground in Paris. Fighter jets on bombing raids over Syria. And France's president says the nation is at war. La France est en guerre. France is at war. Barbarians attacking it, wanting to disfigure it. They will not succeed. But last Friday, the terrorists succeeded. Despite new anti-terrorism and surveillance laws passed in the wake of the attacks 10 months ago on the Charlie Hebdo magazine, Paris was once again taken by surprise. It's clear that they have to undertake a review of their procedures, which is exactly what we did in the United States after 9-11. One of the things they are talking about is anyone who comes back from Syria, travel in that area, is to put them under house arrest for some period of time. Now, France is also considering stripping citizenship from suspected terrorists, extending the state of emergency for three months, and will recruit 5,000 extra police and 1,000 more justice officials, trying to balance increased surveillance with trying not to alienate France's large Muslim minority. France is reaching out to allies too. On Tuesday, European defence ministers met in Brussels, vowing cooperation, but no quick solution to the crisis. We must highlight that today is not the day to make concrete decisions, but to talk and find the correct way of giving France support and help. Not so much with military, but maybe with other measures. Whether the response is on the ground in France or in the skies, Above Syria, intelligence is key in the fight against terrorism. And despite increased surveillance and national cooperation, last Friday's attacks caught France, Washington and the world by surprise. Groups like ISIL are finding ways to plot, plan and execute their plans despite increased intelligence. Nathan King, CCTV, Washington.